Oh, tis the time of year. And before the, I, ever, ever since I saw it come from away, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking like a Newfoundlander. <laughs> Just enjoy it. It's that time Great. of year before the deadline of March 1st hits. RSPs are worth the contribution. So let's break down what we need to know. Once again, uh, Leslie Ann Skorgi is here, president of MeVest. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I, happy RSP season. Happy RSP season. It's like Christmas for me. <laughs> so should we care about it? We keep getting conflicting opinions sometimes mm -hmm. from different financial advisors. Yeah. So why should Canadians care about RSPs? For the bulk of Canadians, it's the most powerful tool to save for retirement. And though that might seem very far away, we <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, <coughs> uh, there we go. Sorry, it's also allergy season. It's allergy season because <laughs> it's melting. Um, it's it's just such an important tool, and it's a very powerful one. It provides the bulk of the tax advantages for most Canadian households. Mm. So that's why you should be looking at it. So, how many Canadians are, are contributing? Sadly, we have around 30% of Canadians taking advantage of our RRSPs, and that's simply not enough because what it means is they're leaving available tax dollars on the table. So when you contribute to an RSP, you benefit from uh, a reduced tax bill. So for me, that means more money in my pocket that I can spend today. Uh, I don't like giving away free money, and, <laughs> and neither should you. A lot of people, too, I mean, you, you get to that, that point where, okay, you're going to take them out, and then they ask you that question, what is your allowable contribution? And then you go, I don't know. There's two easy ways to find out. Uh, if you have online access to CRA My Account, you can log in there and you can find your available contribution room, or you can dust off that envelope that arrived last year from the CRA, which is called your notice of assessment. And on the third page of that, you're going to find your available contribution room. That matters because there are limits to how much you can put into your RRSP. If you go over them, you get a fine. But if you're within them, you are totally <laughs> well, fine. I, I have no danger of going over them because <laughs> right. it usually it's way up there. Right. And a lot of Canadians actually try to top up to the limit that they're allowed because that means, again, more tax savings um, when they file their taxes. Now, some years you're not able to contribute, uh, That's you know, right. obviously. So, so, so do you, if you skip a year, is that okay? It is. In fact, it carries over indefinitely, which is very good. Ideally, though, you don't want this building available contribution room because it means that later on when you do have the money, you have to top up in really big chunks. Sometimes, over twenty or thirty thousand dollars at a time, so that's a lot of money. Now, as well, a lot. Of, I saw a lot of questions. I think I saw was watching an online uh, chat yesterday going on about RSPs, and there were a lot of questions from business owners, from self-employed people. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the what's, what's some of the advice you give to, to self-employed people? So, a lot of self-employed people have reduced incomes because what they do is they generate revenue and then they uh, offset the revenue with expenses. That means they're bringing home less money technically on their their mm -hmm. tax filing. For them. The tax-free savings account is likely a better tool because your RRSP is really good if you're making over $55,000 a year, but if you're under that, the tax-free savings account tends to be a better tool. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, all the all great information. She comes back often. Uh, you want to check her out at MeVestMoney uh, or MeVest.ca on the web. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Leslie. I appreciate it. Thank you.